Thank you, Elon, for this opportunity. I'm Phil Kidhill, founder and CEO of Ocean-Based Climate Solutions, Inc. The oceans are central to addressing the climate crisis. They absorb over a quarter of the carbon emissions that we humans generate from burning fossil fuels. Yet the ocean has an untapped ability to store much more carbon. And this is where the ocean-based climate solutions oxygenator technology comes in. These wave-powered upwelling pumps can play a powerful role in boosting microalgae and increasing carbon dioxide removal to stop climate change in its tracks. The technology is clean, cost-efficient, and promotes ecologically resilient oceans that can produce more food and economic benefits right from the start. But the key is getting started. We need to deploy hundreds of thousands of oxygenators in the open oceans. And to be successful, we need people like you, as well as companies and governments, to be early adopters of our technology. Without you, there's no hope for a company like Ocean Based. By 2026, if we're successful, our company revenues will exceed Tesla's, deploying just 3,000 of our oxygenators annually from now to 2035 will wipe out Tesla's reported CO2 emissions and make you net negative well beyond 2050. If this sounds interesting, please keep watching. Now there's a lot of great technologies that can remove CO2 from the atmosphere. There's DAC, CCUS, BECCS, as well as trees, <clears throat> soil, biochar, kelp, and phytoplankton, just to name a few. Deployed hundreds of miles offshore, <clears throat> with just one moving part, our oxygenator pump upwells cold, nutrient-rich seawater from a depth of 500 meters to the sunlit upper ocean, triggering blooms of phytoplankton that absorb dissolved CO2. The CO2 is repackaged biologically into solid carbon, which sinks to the deep ocean, sequestering it for up to thousands of years. Listen in to Discovery Channel's Hungry Ocean series from 2008. Okay. Uh, prototype. And uh, this simply uses wave energy to open and close the flap right there. Mm -hmm. The entire rig hangs from a surface buoy. A steel cable attached to the buoy passes down through the polyethylene tube to a one-way valve at the base. When the buoy falls off a wave, the intake valve descends, the flaps open, and deep ocean water floods into the tube. When the next wave lifts the buoy, the valve closes, trapping. What differentiates us from others is you need more than just the best technology. You need an actor that can scale up quickly to keep us from falling off the climate cliff. We are the leading actor because we offer the most ubiquitous nature-based technology to sequester CO2 and because we have the quickest, lowest cost scale-up plan with two unique strategies. First, by engaging climate change entrepreneurs worldwide to produce and deploy our technology around the world. Let's hear from Brock Nelson, one of our climate change entrepreneurs. As Philip has shown, this technology is the key to revitalizing our planet and ocean from the bottom up. Now, I'll share with you the impact of licensing the wave-driven upwelling pumps to create a widespread impact. 2030 is around the corner and with thousands of organizations aimed to be carbon neutral before the turn of the decade, Ocean-Based offers the best solution for their environmental goals. By partnering with a climate change entrepreneur, corporations like 3M, Microsoft, or Tesla sponsor pumps which are estimated to individually sequester 250 tons of CO2 per year. I'll turn it back over to Phil now to tell you why and how corporations can tune into this opportunity. Great, Brock, thank you very much. As you know, climate change is one of the most important corporate ESG risks, but it also presents enormous opportunities. Our technology is a game changer, complementing efforts to reduce carbon footprint and achieve sustainability. It provides a pathway to carbon neutrality reinforced by our second unique strategy, which enables many corporations to achieve negative emissions without depleting their cash and working capital. Even at our low cost of about nine bucks a ton, this effort could add up to 
hundreds of millions to billions of dollars, as seen as in this in this table, where red and green sections indicate companies with low cash relative to the CO2 removal cost. With our second strategy, Stock for Carbon, we offer a zero cash alternative, which allows these corporations to pay in common stock. Yes, that's gonna dilute the shareholders, but the markets now prefer more sustainable corporations bidding up the price and improving shareholders ROI. With Stock for Carbon, CO2 removal is essentially free to the company, the shareholders gain a higher ROI and the environment wins. We believe this is the best technology for this moment at this time. Elon, if you are interested, please reach out to me at my mobile 505-231-7508 and give us a heart or like on the tweet so we know you saw this video. Thanks again for listening and for acting.